yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And, you, and you think there, 15 years ago, they were yeah, having you know massive the civil war and all the rest of it. Now they're the steaming That is these natives from uncoiling this fibre oh, yeah. optic. Heavy metal, right? Yeah. 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 They got it. No, our government. Actually, have a look. But it won't work, will it? Have a go. Okay. For a carcum. <laughs> but we're planning to be down on Monday. Yeah, yeah. 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 You chop it. Yeah. I'll get through the... So, by having a server, or a server with storage in the digital so village pump here, cache. cache it locally, right. synchronise it at night, and oh, then everybody I gets full, yeah. full line space. That's what yeah. they're doing down in this council estate as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So as we expand the network, we just increase that, that pipe that comes in to the community. From the 100 meg we start with, up yeah. to 1,000. Everybody's got the equipment. So you take advantage of it. The edge uh, and the outside of the village, you have a, a kind of the main ring. It, effectively, it's like a like a fibre ring main that goes around the village. And again, uh, if you look at sort of the conventional way of putting fibre optics in, if you're digging up a road like we're standing on here at the moment, you can be looking over 100 pounds a metre to dig it up, make good, upset everybody, etc., etc. What we're doing here is working with the local community, the local stakeholders, local farmers, etc., so that we dig around the outside of the village like a soft dip, which again keeps the cost down and makes it affordable and economic and sustainable to actually build a network. So what we've got here, Ashby, the first village in the country to go fibre to the home. Now, a couple of kilometres down the road there's Digby, and a couple of kilometres the other way there's RAF Digby. Um, Digby itself is about four times the size of Ashby, and RAF Digby has about 300 accommodation units for single RAF and, and families. They both have terrible problems with broadband, and so what we're doing initially is using, people are very familiar with Wi-Fi on laptops, but if you swap the syllables around and call it Fi Wi, that's the approach that we take. So you have fiber as close as you can get to everybody initially, and then we use wireless to fix the problems that people have got as a stepping stone. But again, because we're a community interest company, the surplus that we generate, what we do in the initial phase is we reinvest that surplus back in so that the other communities in the surrounding area, they get to go onto fibres of the home as well. Once that's achieved, then we still are bound to act as a community interest company in the interest of the local community. So what we become, if you like, is a form of local watery fund. So that the surplus that we generate, we put back into things like, you know, the village hall needs a new roof, or some play area for kids, that sort of thing. And that's very much guided by the local community to say to us what they want the surplus to be spent on. 